Welcome to KGB Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Let's get started. Kristoff and Kailinka were at the airport in Perspectivy with Ulyov, Ludmila, Galina, and Clarence. Their flight to Frankfurt was still an hour away and the group was trying to make idle chit-chat. Ludmila said, Frankfurt will be wonderful to visit this time of year. The colors along the Rhine Valley will be astounding. I've heard the Grape Escape Wine Tour is exceptional. I hope you've made some time to see the sights there. Kalinka replied, we have. We're using it as a home base, so to speak. Frankfurt has an exceptionally well-connected international airport. We can get to anywhere in the world from there. We've only planned two or three trips at this point, Christoph said. Our first to Italy is in two weeks. We'll have more than enough time to see a few of the sights. I'm looking forward to the private beer tasting in Old Town. Clarence smiled. If I'd known, I'd have had my passport ready to go. He winked. Kalinka returned Clarence's wink and said, and that's why we didn't say anything. I think I'm looking most forward to the wine tasting at the end of a busy day touring Spessart, Wurzburg, the old university town, and finally Wickersheim. So much history to be seen. And wine to be tasted, Ludmila said. That sounds like a wonderful day. Galina started to squirm and fuss a little. Uh, excuse me, I, th I think someone needs to be tended to. I'll be right back. Clarence asked what they had planned for Italy. I hope you'll make time to see the Colosseum. Take plenty of pictures, please. I've always fancied myself a bit of a gladiator. <laughs> Absolutely, Clarence, Kristoff said. It's our first stop after we land in Rome. Well, maybe second or third, love, Kalinka said. We have a few piazzas to check into first. The food looks and sounds wonderful. Clarence said I'd best be on my way. Your flight should start boarding soon. You'll need to get to your gate. Have yourselves a wonderful time. He hugged Kailinka and offered his hand to Kristoff, who pushed it aside and embraced him. Take care, my friend. See you soon, he said. Ulyov had been quiet this whole time. He seemed reflective and uneasy. As Clarence was walking away, he seemed to snap out of it. Kristoff and Kailinka, he began. I I've said this before, but I want you to both to know how much you mean to Lidmila and I. We love you both and expect this isn't the last time we'll see you. Please keep in touch. Ludmila, having just returned with a now happy Galina, echoed Ulyov's sentiment. We love you. They hugged, stepped back, and wiped tears away. No more words were needed. Hi, Cheap here. Welcome to episode 111 of my playthrough on Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And I'm on the Fjordland map. Um, pretty good chance this is going to be the, uh, the second last episode. i um, just going to finish up uh, the construction in here uh, and see if I can stay away from any more disasters. Uh, just getting the... Uh, <coughs> the gravel footpaths all uh, all in place and then I'll I'll put the rest of them in get these uh, these monuments dealt with and then uh, have a look over at the uh, container facility and uh, try to fine tune things get some uh, some stuff produced uh, in in our uh, <clears throat> Uh, consumer goods area where we're packing stuff up I um, think initially I'm just going to be uh, bringing the alcohol and uh, and clothes uh, here just uh, <laughs> just to stay safe I'm still not 100% sure about the food and I'll probably try to do a little bit of meat uh, in there as well we'll uh, we'll see what uh, what happens with that but yeah so that'll be a thing and uh, just wanted to address something and I'm not sure how this is going to work because I don't know that this is actually going to produce um, <clears throat> containers with any of these uh, 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 products. <laughs> um, I, I got a little confused with uh, with Kai's comment in, in, in the last one and she, she actually sent me uh, a DM uh, explaining to me what she meant and uh, we're gonna give it a try so 
Uh, what I didn't do here, and I, I guess I assumed because I thought the only thing that would be available here for pickup would, would be uh, containers, which is uh, this here. Uh, if I check that off, what, what will happen? That's, that's my next, next question. So um, I don't know that it's going to make containers out of uh, any of the materials it has available. It's definitely loading in materials, but I don't know that it's... Let me just zoom in a little bit here. See if we've got... Uh, yeah, that just looks like a little bit more aluminum there. So I'm not sure that this is actually going to... Oh, there's containers. Okay. So now it's making the containers, and what's in that container? Aluminum. Okay, there you go. Simple as that. Thank you, Kaya, for the clarification. I should probably do the same thing for um, these other lines, just because. I mean, the, this this will, uh, by default, because the only thing we're loading at this point is uh, <coughs> vehicles, which is fine. Uh, and the only thing that's available here is vehicles as well, or containers, if you will. Uh, but we may as well complete it. Nothing like a little consistency. And we'll have one more ship that we'll have to get sorted out here soon, too. So, there you go. Okay. I think that's set up the way that it needs to be set up. And they're getting stacked up, but not loaded. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll send him on his way. So that he'll unload all this stuff. That'll give them some time to build up... Uh, more containers and then uh, when he comes back we'll see if that's that's gonna work out and speaking of ships I think it's it might I don't know if it's ready yet oh it's close should yeah should be done so that's that was the last of the uh, <clears throat> the kind of checklist of all things that I wanted to get dealt with so we've got plenty of food here plenty of meat now who's coming here for meat deliveries <clears throat> don't know that I want to use them I almost need... So what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> what am I doing? Yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, this is supply and export. Probably be safer. Let me see what wagons we have. I think there's... Yeah, there's a couple of refrigeration units in there. I think I could reasonably safely. Oh, I need to turn this off. We don't want to export. Where are they picking all that other stuff up from? The consumer goods. They're not. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So it doesn't really matter that we have the clothes, the fabric. We don't want steel exported there anymore. Um, coal. I don't think that makes sense either. Nor oil. Yeah, I don't think I want 
this going there at all. We've got all of the uh, those products dealt with uh, quite nicely. So, I think what I can do <coughs> is uh, add this connection here. Say, pick up meat when we have more than 80% and deliver it. Let me make sure. <laughs> yes, deliver it here. And I want you not to load, please. I want you meat for sure. Yeah, as long as there's 80%, we'll be fine. We can keep it at that at that level. So now we've got <coughs> all our pickups. Yeah, we don't want that dropped off here. We want the clothing dropped off here. Are we picking up clothing? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's see what happens with that. I, uh, I'm getting myself confused again. Let's quickly check here. We'll come back to that, don't worry. If you were worried to begin with. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get the rest of these footpaths in place so that... Ah. Don't like that. Give it a little bit of a curve. Where else do we need? It's not going to hurt to have these all connected up. That's a little ugly. Alright. Now let's get our helis in here. Okay, and there's only one that they can't get at. This one. We'll deal with that. Now, I want to get rid of those temporary f footpaths. Because I think everyone's connected up now, yes. Make sure. At least the ones that I <laughs> I put in jeopardy last time. There, that's one right there. And then we'll replace those with our gravel footpaths. Why didn't I see that one before? Hmm. Well, I see it now, so that's what counts. Oh, and there's another one of the temporary ones. Okay. Let's see if we can get this dealt with. And all of them can be good. And just for good measure, we'll get all the people being delivered so we can get that dealt with quickly. Okay. Who's bringing stuff down here now? That's plastics. Yay. We've got one line. Yeah. 
interesting. Let me just quickly pause this. Oh, that's the... Yeah, okay. I'm alright. Let her run. That was... Uh, And uh, warehouse, and that's the okay supply. So we're getting chemicals, fabrics, mechanical components, and plastics. Good. Okay, so everything is set there. Let me check messages just to be sure. Two degrees. Okay, and we can definitely bring alcohol and clothes here without without too much fear of bringing the well sorry about the clouds bringing the uh, republic down sorry okay that's the city supply don't want to be messing with that think we have most of that sorted out now. Um, where am I trying to write here? This only has, yeah, and this has all the clothes. Okay. Who all is assigned? City supply, supply export. Okay. So that's Krieger Dita. Train station two. Okay. Let me see if I can find that. Thirteen. Train station two, not train station one. Sorry, am I blind? Or am I in the wrong? Supply export. There we are. Okay, so I want to. Hmm. Pick up clothes there. And deliver clothes here. Ooh, that was... <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. We got our ship going right through the, uh, the middle there. I might have to do a little bit of dredging. Meat and close. Right? Okay, good. Now, I gotta figure out where all the alcohol is. And I know f for a. F Whoa, getting lost. Where did I go? There we are. <laughs> Did I? No, okay. <clears throat> the uh, alcohol, I believe. Crops, crops. Ton o alcohol. Oh, just the one message. Okay, I didn't miss all of them. It seems to me, yeah. Wow, that's not a whole lot. This is, yeah, building supplies and export. There, ah, oh, they've only got 10, and this is building supply. They're maxed out, so they're not an option. What do we have for wagons here? Okay, I think I think I'm gonna go back to uh, as long as I don't get myself lost again. Here we are. To here for a pickup of alcohol. 
when we're over 50%. Here we are. And I better make sure. Oh, clouds. Okay. Footpaths. And I got myself lost again. Only spent the better part of a year on this. And I still get lost. Okay, so this is train station three. That's where we want our alcohol, right? Yes, okay. Sargrad, train station three, unload alcohol. Okay, well, let's see if we get if we get those materials delivered. Oh, we're fighting with each other. Okay, well, we'll, we'll get that sorted in a sec. I want to go have a look here to see how... And <laughs> I placed this one here thinking I was saying, Oh, yeah, I remember using that one. Such a nice and unique building, and <laughs> I'd already placed one here. So, anyway, we've got bookends, I suppose. They seem to be doing pretty well. Clearing out... Uh, Ish, any ish, issues there and I think yeah they can get anywhere so there should be no no worries getting that uh, that getting everything they need yeah words sorry okay cool let's uh, where was I headed too many things going on here oh the ships do we have yes we do okay So, I want you to go. We're going Soviet. So, this one needs to go from here to the western. Start, please. And following Kaya's direction. Away you go. what's happening he here this is yeah no this one oh he's unloading everything so he should be on his way back here shortly not sure how uh, <laughs> How much these take, or is this a, again a situation? We've got, you know, there's a fair amount here. We we do have <clears throat> enough people working, but we don't have enough materials. Well, yeah. interesting issue to have. And here we go with some meat, and we should see this go to work. And there's no connection. <laughs> Uh, I said I guess that has to go that way unbelievable well there'll be containers waiting for them can they get there? they can okay Well, we do it 96%. Let's check on the happiness because that was a thing last time. And they're starting to recover for sure. <clears throat> Guys in the in the center. All right. I know I don't have anything that's going to give me enough coverage <laughs> for uh a construction office just to temporarily do some a little bit of dredging here try to make everything a little bit deeper so we don't get so gummed up here uh, I'm not I don't want to change this but I just want to make this a little bit deeper I might push that back a little bit but I don't know we'll see probably be easier to 
to change this, but I prefer not to if I don't have to. Um, construction industry, is it not? Yeah, construction offices. There we are. Wow, blanked out. I'm um, just going to place this here and go with the standard bulldozer to excavator. Two. We'll do just because I just can't get enough terraforming. Let's see if we can. Uh, all right. Just zoom in here a little bit and see if we can make this a little better, a little easier to uh, for the ships to get through. <laughs> running up on the on the bank just doing his little Red Bull stunt trick is that what you're up to I suppose I can I can just push that back a little bit more and really not change the look on that too much Trying to go get that as as deep as I can. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, let's see if this guy runs straight through here instead of Jimmy's over to the that side there. And they might do something similar as well here where they uh, decide their uh, the routes that they're going to take. <clears throat> Prior, you know, it's 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 set for them already. Okay, and here comes our tanker. What are you loaded up with? Okay. Wouldn't be a tanker. I don't know if they're gonna if it's gonna be any better for them through there or not. Our footpaths are dealt with. Nice. Nice, nice. Probably need something up here as well. Need, want, I don't know. Yeah, I think ideally I would have a, a boy for this out this way. And then they can carry on and then they, they wouldn't interfere with each other. <clears throat> Save some of those uh, those things. The last uh, the last episode that uh, that I'm planning is the uh, kind of a little uh, things I learned uh, situation where I'm will be and I learned a lot in this this uh, <coughs> this playthrough about. Uh, how to how to set up some of the different things? What are the best ways, best practices, uh, things that work with my brain? And I tried a few new things out that I haven't done before as well. So um, I'm just going to sell all these guys and get rid of that one. And. Do we get no, nothing yet? Anything on the way? Yeah, it looks like we got a couple. Got some clothes and some alcohol. All right. 
One thing I would, I, I don't think I would do next time is uh, is build as as many of these. You have to supply so much uh, materials to these to this and this is about as far away as from any of the materials as we can get um, yeah it's just uh, having having it a little bit more focused so that uh, there's lots of materials uh, available uh, to be packed up and then uh, sent out my, my idea was my thinking was is that like materials were were, were sent out of of one facility so that was why I kind of I kind of went with that in terms of the construction materials, some consumer goods, and then uh, some of the more exotic type things, uh, things that were made out of other things, chemicals, fabrics, the mechanical components, and the plastics. Obviously, that's uh, <clears throat> if you can supply all that stuff, great, but. I don't know that uh, <laughs> that I can. Wow, and we've got uh, we've got ton o containers. We we're certainly supplying enough aluminum, and yeah, it looks like we've got a, a bunch of the other stuff there as well. So as soon as the ships come back, we can have a peek. And there they are. There. Speaking of which, cool. Yeah, these guys are just having a hard time, aren't they? Ah, oh, it's interesting. Patterns in the... In the water, in the ocean. This is our Soviet, and this is our Western, yep. What were you bringing us? Mechanical goods. Components. Container loading progress. Yeah, and then to top it all off, having uh, one trying to supply two ships. We'll see how it goes, I, I suppose, when it, uh, when it loops through. Uh, I mean, when these ships go to deliver all their materials, obviously. And they're getting some other containers. Yeah, so they got some clothes. Bunch of trucks. Cool. Yeah, we need to set up some shipping lanes. That would be, uh, that would be something to, uh, to definitely do, I think. We're certainly keeping uh, more than enough people working in these without uh, any issue. Like they uh, they chug through the materials that they're getting delivered pretty quickly. Oh, well, something else that I tried. I've never I've, I've never tried using uh, the ships as uh, delivery for workers, and the only reason I even tried. For this one was because it would they uh, they had a top speed of 40 knots so that was uh, the rest of them were weren't were barely even half of that in terms of the passengers more cruise ship kind of thing so I thought this might be it wasn't a, a, a huge distance they had to travel and so I decided instead, instead of setting up a the standard bus lines or even a train line or a metro or something over there having uh, <coughs> having a uh, <laughs> ship through the land again having a uh, something like, trying something different like this might be uh, might be interesting I was holding my breath when they first started but I think once uh, once I got the footpath sorted here everything everything kind of fell into place so that was good to see just curious about this and how quickly it uh, they'll pull the uh, yeah, very quickly. Uh, 
Ja. And then one other thing uh, that I was going to go through in the in the last uh, the last episode is looking a little bit more at. I mean, we can quickly look at some of this stuff. Um, the import. I haven't really looked at it too much because I wasn't particularly concerned about it. But uh, electrical components. Uh, I'm not sh sure. Is it something that I built, and that's why they were imported? power oh I did the power because <laughs> because of uh, the 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 problem that I had uh, sorry for the clouds again uh, with the nodes I was trying to cover that off and I didn't I didn't switch it back let's go back to an export scenario please thank you and Yeah, plastic. Yes, yeah, so I'm not. I'm not making electronics. Am I exporting? Am I buying them and then exporting them? Did I think I was making them and then wanting them in here? I hope not. That would be embarrassing. Nope. We're not. I'm not. We're. I'm not. See, we're, I'm trying to share blame here. Oh, loaded and gone. And this guy isn't quite loaded up yet. What did you bring us? Chemicals, okay. Certainly takes a while to unload. And definitely got through this without too much issue. Alcohol, cool. Next question will be... Can we get through that whole year? Oh, more than enough. Yeah. Lots. They're still harvesting here. That's cool. 1,800. Just want to keep checking on it because I think we're at a point now where I've oversaturated this line. <laughs> Look at that, would you? Everybody wants to go that direction now instead of to the border. Speaking of which, I should have a check here and see what exactly we're, I'm exporting here. I think, yeah, the bitumen. And that's all coming from, from this production facility here. Just really isn't uh, that much need for it anymore. Oh, it doesn't have the... Uh, who's... Uh, <laughs> who's what? <laughs> who's using that stop? That would be a good kind of a, a nice thing to be able to see unless I'm not looking in the right place. Yeah, purchased vehicle space. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, have that uh, in there. Just got to quickly alt tab away to see how long I've been uh, on recording. Thirty six minutes. Not too bad. We'll let it run for a little bit longer here. I like I said, this is. This is really, let's see how th everything stabilizes out. Are we, uh, am I exporting too much alcohol? Do I not have enough alcohol left? Doesn't look like that's really a problem. Now we're using uh, more than enough and we're getting uh, still plenty in uh, the tiny, tiny warehouse. Steel supplies are good. It's an interesting one. The, they definitely make enough, you know, have enough coal distributed here. Uh, obviously, more than enough for our uh, power supplies. The one bottleneck, because of how far away it was, was uh, bringing uh, gravel. 
again that's a whole supply thing and for the people that uh, that like to do the min max thing that's uh, something that would uh, definitely be on their minds but certainly not something i really concern myself with i'm gonna sell everybody here i did these uh, i built these <coughs> as as we were going out you're probably well aware of the fact seeing them scattered here there and everywhere um just to do whatever little bit bits and and sometimes it was little bits of terraforming and other times it was a lot of bits uh chemicals doing okay getting shipped around by truck looks like are you doing anything with <clears throat> liquids okay you pick up oil and where are you taking it doesn't look like you're taking it anywhere these are yeah tanker wagons well I can certainly get rid of those not needed I do like the look of those ones but oh chemicals I don't want to do that chemicals so what are these I thought that was them. Oh, that's this one. Okay, okay. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a good chunk. This will just give us a little bit of space if I need to uh, sort anything else out. Coal? Where are you taking coal? I don't think you're taking coal anywhere. I think we used to export that to the train, but that's not happening. So we won't need that anymore I don't think no we can get rid of all of those as well yeah we're definitely not working with uh, with any aggregates Again, making uh, making space and getting a little bit of clarity on what exactly is going on with this place. We definitely have electronics. Yeah, that's coming from the border. Yeah, steel, chemicals. Oh yeah, it's doing their meat as well. Okay, meat and city supply. Leave that alone. Are we full here? No, we're not full. Not by a long shot. We are full of <laughs> Sorry, I should finish that instead of leaving it hanging there. Uh, fuel. Oh, maybe not quite. There's still a little over a hundred, hundred left. Okay. I don't know. Is that one more row? Do they put in one row and then take off? I didn't. I wish I'd seen that. 
from the uh, <clears throat> when the, the first one took off because he'll be back and then it'll be his turn to wait to get filled yeah it's definitely a balancing uh, issue maybe end up uh, parking one ship one's one's going to be more than enough these ones are going to take a long time. They're doing pretty good here. For uh, I was I wasn't sure if you know, especially on a dirt road, how they were going to do for for filling that in or emptying it, dropping off. And these guys are obviously not. Yeah, they've got nothing to uh, nothing to process. Well, oh, meat. I should uh, make this a large one. I think I did that for all the other ones, yeah. All right. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been an experience and a half for me. Um... Loved, uh, loved playing on this map. It was a super fun map to play on. Lots of uh, interesting challenges and things, curveballs that I've th threw at myself, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, writing the stories was fun. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, trying to tap into a little bit of imagination. I know I got repetitive from time to time, but hopefully there was enough interest in, in that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue that style or not. Uh, it does uh, make things a little bit longer, and again, I don't like to do the repeti rep be repetitive uh, with it, because how many meetings can we talk about and think are uh, a good, good ideas and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Anyway, I will give it a good long think before I start up the next series and, and, and what I can, can and can't do with that, or may or may not do. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting into ramble mode again here, so um, have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch me have fun playing. Uh, we will catch you in the next uh, episode, which I believe will be a little things I learned kind of thing. And thanks for joining me on this ride. Cheers.